Hi, this is Julie Lindsay. I want to show you how to set up a dynamic landing page. I'm currently in the Faculty of Arts and Ed online sandpit for uh, QLT work. And uh, you can see I'm in edit mode. Uh, we have a number of things happening here in this site and it's quite a dynamic site so this is what it looks like today. There's a page here that shows um, static landing pages. There's also a page here that shows dynamic landing pages and how this is a, a modular design. Let me just show you this first and I'll, I'll show you how I created it. So you can see it looks like a number of sort of modules. So there's the, the welcome to ABC subject and then there's the HTML for that. There's the what's on this week. Uh, and then there's what's on week two, etc. Let me just uh, flip some of those up. So you can actually open these or, or close them. See on the right hand side here. Um, I'm just going to close the HTML because we don't want that right at the moment. Right, so if you ignore that, you can see that this is actually a set of different designs, but this could be, for example, this one could be the when the students first um, come to the subject, welcome. And then week one, you might want to put something different in there, slightly different design, different text, of course. So it becomes like a blog style, and it is dynamic, uh, week two, etc. Now you can also reorganize these so that the, um, the more recent ones are on the top. So for example, if you wanted to keep the welcome to the subject one on the top, but then have the newest uh, ones down, the newest ones straight under that, you can, you can just grab it on the side here and, uh, and move it up. So I can grab it and put it... There you go, what's on week two, uh, what's on this week, which is week one. So you can have it in reverse chronological order, just like a blog. All right, so how do we create this? I'm just going to put that back, so I'm going to keep mine. Um... All right, so the key to creating a page like this is in the uh, setting up from the beginning. So if we go over here to uh, navigation, and there's that plus sign where you can create a new blank page or a web link, etc. What we want to do is create a new content area. So we do that, give it a name. I'm just going to call it Test um, Dynamic, available to users, etc. I'm not going to do that at the moment. Submit. All right, and of course that jumps right down to the bottom. You can move that up wherever you want it. Well, let me just put it here for the minute. So Test Dynamic. Now when I click on Test Dynamic, I get this uh, fairly blank uh, page and it says it's time to add content. So what you need to do is to go to build content and we want to add module pages. All right, so add module page and you might want to call this your welcome or you know, welcome to ABC subject, whatever you want there, uh, and then start creating it. So, so what I'm going to do then, of course, is actually go in here because I want to use this exact template. I'm just showing you how to use the HTML, uh, and I've got the actual HTML here. So I'm going to copy and paste this, as I've shown you in another video, actually, but I'll show you again here. Uh, don't paste it straight onto the page because it is HTML code. Uh, you need to click on HTML there in the menu, paste, update, and there you go. Now, uh, this is where you can actually change your image, select the image, go to that image icon, change the image, etc. I have that in another video, I'm not going to go over that again now. So, And then when you submit, your module page uh, becomes there it's there now see how it's got an icon and a, a text label you can change that if you go up here where it says test dynamic click on that you can have icons only text only I actually prefer text only uh, like that so that's the start now as you get to the next week or whatever you can go in build content build another module page and add it on and you can reorder this these you can flip them up so it just becomes an icon or a text or both uh, flip it down, etc. Uh, you can even make this your default landing page, and I'll quickly show you that. If you scroll down to the control panel where it says customization, open that up, and where it says teaching style, uh, what we want to do, the entry point, which is the default page, we want to make that um, whatever that page was, which was uh, one of these. Anyway. You just make it the page that uh, that you want and click submit. Okay, 
And that's as simple as that, creating dynamic landing pages. Thank you.